So this car here, he is looking at 4,800 for getting this car done. Hey everybody, my name is Eddie with the Tin Factory located in Oakland, California. And today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to price a wrap job. How do you price your friend that wants to wrap his car and you're new into the business or you're already a business that's been running for years. How do you price your job for your client? Stay tuned. When someone comes to you and says, hey, I want my car wrapped. What information do you need to give an accurate quote? I need to know the car. What car is it? What color do they want? What color is the car, which is very important. Um, and really, that's it. That's it. You know, what color, what car, and what color is the car? Um, Why does it matter what color the car is? Because say this car, it's a red car. Uh, red, white, any bright colors, they're the hardest to wrap. Because say I do a cut and the cut is off, it's gonna just bleed through and peek out the red. So any color that's a little bit more extreme, whites, reds, bright colors, we need to do more disassembly in order for us to go ahead and cover up the original color. So because of that, we need to charge a little bit of an extra premium. Got it, so this car right here, yes, what sir. are they getting? This here is here now for full vinyl wrap. Um, it was here last week for full ceramic window tint all the way around. Now it's just back for a full wrap job. How did you quote this job? Now, is it a quote or is it a definite price they get? Uh, so at this point, I pretty much know what it requires to do the actual job. So when I send out a quote, it's the actual quote, unless it's like, uh, like corporate account, that's where it really tends to fluctuate because companies, a lot of the times they want us to go out and do it to their location. Uh, so that's where it fluctuates because we're charging our time, uh, toll, sometimes fast track. Um, so we need to be able to accommodate for stuff just like that. Now let's talk about the vinyl wrap they're getting. Okay. What are they getting? So this here is going KPMF, which is one of the better brands. Um, it's definitely one of the top three um, when it comes down to vinyl wrap. Uh, KPM is pretty fair priced, um, not compared to like say 3M or Avery Denison. Those are more like 800, 850. This one here, I believe it was like 650 and we're just talking material right now. Yep. So this one's actually cheaper. Yeah, it's actually cheaper and it's honestly, it's good material. You know, I've been using KPM for quite some years and no complaints. Um, it does tend to be a little bit thinner and harder to work with, but once you have experience, you know, with so many cars, this is just a little bit of an extra um, kick in order for you to do your uh, install. Install. But I mean, man, we all need a little bit of a of a push, you know, so you could really test what your skills really are. Now, let's say you have a customer, and he's all Eddie. What's the cheapest oh, okay. material I could get to do the job? How do you feel about that? How, what do you respond? Well, look, if they already are asking like the cheapest or what's the best or what you could do for me, like already that's a client that I don't even want, you know, um, because they're being cheap from the jump. So yes, there is two, $300 rolls out there. Um, and I mean, if you really want it, send me a message. I'll, I'll let you know where to get it. But um, as a client, I try to just move away from it, you know, mm -hmm. because there's not much good that's gonna come from it with a client's already trying to come in and be cheap because they want something cheap, you install something cheap, and then a month, two months down the line, something starts going bad, guess what? They're gonna blame you, you know, so if I'm not confident on putting the material on the car, um, or at least I'll say on my personal car, I wouldn't put it onto a client's car. So what do you tell them? Uh, I try to convince them. I first try to convince them to go with a better brand, you know, um, but most of the time, Ray, is to be honest, once they come in asking what's the cheapest and they realize what our price range is, it's really not in their ballpark. So kind of have to let the client go. Now, this customer, mm -hmm. it's gonna cost you 600 and something to do the job for one roll? Yeah. So this here, it was about, I wanna say like $650. It's a full roll. Uh, one full roll is enough to go throughout the whole car, um, as long as you're efficient with your material. 
Um, so yeah, this pretty much cost me $650 to get the job. But that's not what you're charging the client. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, what are the things you take into consideration on the price? Uh, so certain cars, um, we have to take off the quarter windows. Um, I'm confident on taking off everything off the car except windows. Um, that's one thing that to this day I still don't learn. And it's honestly not that hard, but I just haven't jumped in it. But taking off windows is one of the things that will make me either go up or down on price because I know that my guy charges me such and such to come and remove those windows. So say this one, this one here, we do have to remove the windows. So since I know this, when the client comes in for asking for a quote, I already put that in my head, bing, we have to charge this extra so we could take out the glass. What glass? Uh, the quarter glass. That one right Only there. that one? Yep. So we do have to take these off. Um, I take these off myself though. What with the front one? This one here. Not the front one? No, we don't have to take that off. Um, so on the track hawks, we have to take off this front window to get to the door handle. And we have to take off this window in order for us to be able to get behind these gasket. But I know it's scary to jump into something like this, you know, $100,000 truck, you don't want to break anything or you just don't really know how to wrap. If you want to learn, send us a message, teach me how to wrap on Instagram. Let's get you trained, get you the proper guidance that you need to be able to get stuff done just like this. All right, man, sounds great. Now, what's another thing? So you have the vinyl, mm -hmm. you have an additional cost if you have to pay somebody else mm -hmm. to come remove the windows. What's another cost? Employee cost. You know, I have employees. It's here, of course, on camera, most of the time it's just me, but there is an extra three guys that come over and help, you know, so employee cost, you know, I have to pay my guys for them to come out and give me a hand, yeah. With employees, how long would this job take? Uh, if we were on it full time from, you know, eight in the morning from when we start to about 4 p.m. when we end, realistically, we could have this truck done in like two days. <laughs> two to three days, we could have it done completely. But unfortunately, that's not how it works here. Um, usually the way we work, we do our day-to-day -day stuff, which is like roof wraps, window tint, just things that we could get out for the day. Once we're done with that, we'll jump in and start doing all vinyl wraps. So this is why we always tell our clients seven days for vinyl wrap. Yeah, but being realistic, that's not too bad because I've, I've heard some horror stories from other shops that they take quite a while with the cars. Do you need people? Is it, could this be a one man job? This absolutely can be a one man job. And most installers are actually a one man army. Um, you could definitely do it on your own. Uh, but it's always nice to have that extra person, even if it's just for, you know, motivation, just, Hey, you got this pal. Um, sometimes it's good to have that extra hand, but definitely could do it by your own car. Just like this. How much do you guys think? Comment down below before we say it. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. So this car here, he is looking at 4,800 for getting this car done. Um, like I said, we have to pay somebody to come out, take the glass off. I have to pay my guys, I have to pay material. So at the end of the day, there is quite some cost to get this car done. So that's pretty much what we charge, 4,800. But it, you making a profit though. Of course, yeah, of course. So out of this, we'll still clear, like once paying my guys, I'll still clear about $3,000, give or take. But if you have say an oddball job, right? So say car's already fully wrapped, client only wants one fender wrap because it got nicked, right? How do you price that? Something simple, a simple method that I put in my head is I figured out what I want to make an hour. How long is it going to take me to do that job? And you price it that way. So say on average, my price is $160 an hour. This fender will take me two hours to do 160 times two plus your material cost. And there you go. That's how you price something that small or some oddball jobs, you know, like door handles, or I just want this little thing. That's how you price something like that. Yeah. What about brand new beginners? They don't know how long it's gonna take. Yeah. Well, you know, they don't wanna, they yeah. can't charge top dollar yet. Yeah, you cannot yet, but it's a learning curve, you know? So that's where you just jump in and, oh man, this took me an extra hour than I thought. Next time you remember that and you put that in so that you could charge your price accordingly. Yeah. What's a good price to pay yourself per hour when you're starting out? Uh, I mean, 
it 50 bucks? It, it depends what you want to do, but I would say about $50 an hour should be what you should be wanting to get paid as a business owner, you know? But eventually you should be able to go 150 plus, you yeah. know? So that's it, you guys. Once again, my name is Eddie with The Tent Factory located in Oakland, California. If you guys have any questions for window tent, vinyl wrap or even detailing uh send us a message we're always glad to help out anybody who's you know confused or wants a little bit of guidance into the right track so send us a message stay tuned and we'll see you guys on the next one